found some wolf tracks. Just a friendly reminder that we're not the only things out here. Good morning guys, just cooking up some oatmeal on the beach, making a little surprise for Alana who is still currently sleeping. Can't say it's the worst place I've made oatmeal before, it's pretty amazing. Sleeping next to the ocean was great, you don't really hear all the little like creatures that bump in the night so I think it's safe to say that we both got pretty good sleeps. We're gonna go explore Cape Scott, which is kind of the peninsula at the northwestern coast of Vancouver Island. There's a lighthouse. Apparently there's people, there's a couple people that still work there, take shifts or whatever. I think it's owned by the Department of National Defense, if I'm not mistaken. So we're gonna go check out that. Today's gonna be a cool day. It's, it's nice staying at the same campsite. We're gonna be staying at Nell's Bite again tonight because you set up camp and then you can just leave your tent and your packs, take a day pack, go out, explore everything, and then when you come back, you know you have a, a place to stay. Also, I got bit by something last night. No idea what, but I'll just toss some moleskin over that. Mostly just wonder what it was because I had socks on. Was it in my socks? So we love beaches. The downside, sand everywhere. Like even when you wipe it off, it's still there because it's moist and rainy here. So it sticks to everything. I like stupidly put my camera in my sweater pocket, which was the sweater that I was like lying down and trying to make a fire with last night. So there's sand all up in all the moving parts in the camera. It still works, but Ah, sand. We love you oceans, but ah. Well, after battling with sand all morning, I think we came out on top. We are off to Cape Scott. Tide is still low. We're just walking along the ocean floor right now. It never gets old. Looking for shells. How's Alana doing up there? It's a little chilly this morning. My legs are feeling a little bit cold, but I don't know. I'm looking forward to the hike ahead of us. Yeah, it's gonna be super cool. I love lighthouses. Me too. There's something just so... Old timey about them. And like isolated. They're always in like super remote kind of... Yeah. Coastal places. <coughs> breathe, breathe through the mouth. Oh God, it smells so bad here. God, it like brings tears to your eyes. So we are here at Nell's Bite. We kind of stayed like there last night. We are walking all along and we're gonna go out onto this like peninsula and go see this cool lighthouse. So I believe it's at 6.8k one way. So we've got a 13.6k day ahead of us. We're trying to get closer, but I just wanted to film this in case he runs or flies away. But there's a giant bird perched on that rock and we have no idea what it is. He is huge. I wish I had some way of giving you guys a sense of scale, but his wingspan was probably like more than half of my arm span. And I'm six feet tall, so like it was a big bird. <laughs> Found some wolf tracks. Just a friendly reminder that we're not the only things out here. 
Made it from Nell's Bite to Guy's Bay. There's another campsite here. One more beach and then it's inland and off to the lighthouse. We all need a turn and leave. Oh baby, this time will be gone forever. Never in a lifetime will you see us back here again. So come before it's too late. Hurry now cause I can't wait. Let's put on our anthem. We'll be singing all night long. Someone here set up a pretty incredible campsite. So we're gonna just chill here, have a bit of a trail mix break, use this giant fortress wall to break the wind here because it is really cold on this beach. But kudos to whoever made this, this is pretty cool. This time will be gone forever Never in a lifetime Will you see us back here again So come before it's too late Hurry now cause I can't wait Let's put on our anthem We'll be singing all night long Oh baby, this time will be gone forever Never in a lifetime Will you see us back here again So come before it's too late Hurry now cause I can't wait Let's put on our anthem We'll be singing all night long Okay, a couple things. First, that was freaking cool. I did not expect to see a little village of buildings there at the lighthouse. And we got to go up on the lighthouse, which was unexpected. And the reason why we got to go up on the lighthouse is we didn't think we were allowed to at first. But then as we were walking around, the lighthouse keeper came out of his house and chatted to us for a bit. And the crazy thing is, he's the only one who lives there. He's lived there for 18 years. Just it's him just and him dog. and his dog. And he gets all of his food helicoptered in. Once a month at Once Hall a month. Hall and Copper comes in with all the food he's ordered. He does have like a satellite dish so he gets TV and internet, but. But like, it's literally just him out here. No road access. No road access. You have to helicopter in. He like maintains everything here. And then once in a while there's like uh, trades people who come to like repair certain things. But yeah, alone there with his dog for 18 years. And then a second thing we learned while we were up there is those wood planks we were walking along were actually an old wooden road, a plank road from like way back when. World War II. From the World War II era when this was like a super top secret radar operation before radar was even really being used by the Germans or the Japanese. So crazy. Like that's so cool. It's so isolated though. I cannot imagine the type of person you have to be to want that lifestyle. Kudos to him. He's lived there for 18 years and he, he seems seemed happy. he seemed happy like when we talked to him. Out and like I guess he chats with all the visitors. He gets visitors pretty much every day during hiking season. But in the winter time? Oh my god. Yeah, and he's he's here year round. Like he's not getting like flown out for the winter or anything. Like he is the lighthouse keeper. I totally realized that I forgot to bring you guys along for the rest of the day. But synopsis of what happened. Alana unfortunately got a little bit of an injury on her foot. I re-pulled a muscle in my hip flexor, or tweaked it, I wouldn't say pulled, I tweaked it. And then I think that caused me to start walking funny. So now I've got like a bruise on my foot and it hurts every time I walk. So that's gonna be really fun for the 18K tomorrow, but that's life when you're hiking, I guess. Tomorrow we hike out, so we're probably gonna wake up. Just enjoy the beach a little bit in the morning. Have a, have a bit of a mellow start and then hike back to the car. It's, it's been really cool. I would really recommend this to anyone. Going to see the lighthouse today was pretty, pretty eye-opening. Apparently it's actually two guys that live there. Anyways, I don't know where I'm going with this, so I'm just gonna end off with some, uh, some mood lighting. That's, that's not creepy at all. All right, subscribe if you like this creepiness. Bye. Ooh. This time will be gone forever Never in a lifetime Will you see us back here again So come before it's too late Hurry now cause I can't wait Let's put
put on our anthem We'll be singing all night